Today, I'm putting Hedra AI, Dreamface, and CapCut Lip Sync head to head. Real results and exactly how to use them. Trust me, the mask isn't to protect me, it's to protect you. Trust me, the mask isn't to protect me, it's to protect you. Trust me, the mask isn't to protect me, it's to protect you. All three tools performed lip syncing fairly well, although Dreamface showed too much blinking, which looked unnatural. Some small head movements in Dreamface and Hedra made the speech feel a little more natural. For the snow effect, CapCut displayed it in a natural and realistic way. Dreamface included it, but not as strongly, and Hedra didn't show it at all. Floating on distant light, I trace the edges of my heart. Whispers glow in velvet night, guide me. Floating on distant light, I trace the edges of my heart. Whispers glow in velvet night, guide me where dreams depart. Floating on distant light, I trace the edges of my heart. Whispers glow in velvet night, guide me where dreams depart. In this example, eye contact looks better in both CapCut and Hedra, making them feel more natural. All three tools show lip movements well and match the rhythm and lyrics of the song. The teeth are clear in all three, especially in CapCut and Hedra. Overall, I think CapCut conveys the feel of the song a little better in this case. They called me a monster, a shadow, a curse. I wasn't made in darkness. I was made in fire. They called me a monster, a shadow, a curse. I wasn't made in darkness. I was made in fire. They called me a monster, a shadow, a curse. I wasn't made in darkness. I was made in fire. In this example, Dreamface shows the lip movements better and more accurately. In CapCut, there are moments where the mouth stays closed and doesn't open in sync with the words. In Hedra, the mouth looks a bit blurry, as if the tool is trying to make it look like a human mouth. Dreamface also animates the surrounding environment better than the other two. My footsteps don't just push the snow. My footsteps don't just push the snow. In CapCut AI dialogue scene model, the animal moves in slow motion, but the mouth doesn't move. In the standard model, lip sync works, but the teeth look blurry. The animal and the environment stay still, and only the head and mouth are animated. My footsteps don't just push the snow. To test the animal on Dreamface, I tried three different models. I used the avatar video model with VO3 result by first creating a walking video of the animal from the image and then using that as input. The best lip sync result came from Dreamface Avatar 3, but the animal itself stayed still and only spoke without any movement. In the Hedra test, I didn't get a good result as it couldn't apply lip sync at all. Everyone is looking at me like I'm part of the show, but I'm just deciding whether to burn the stage down or own it myself. Everyone is looking at me like I'm part of the show but I'm just deciding whether to burn the stage down or own it myself. Everyone is looking at me like I'm part of the show, but I'm just deciding whether to burn the stage down or own it myself. In this example, the lip sync and mouth movement are good in all three tools, especially in Hedra and CapCut that show the teeth better. In Hedra, the direct eye contact and slight head movements make the result look a bit more natural. In both CapCut and Dreamface, the hands stay almost still, while in Hedra, the hand movement feels a bit too much. Overall, in all three tools, if we had control over hand movement, the result would have looked better. I've walked through crowded halls, heard the whispers behind me, but none of them ever knew the truth. 
I've walked through crowded halls, heard the whispers behind me, but none of them ever knew the truth. Sometimes I smile to keep the world quiet, and sometimes I don't smile, just to see who can face me as I am. I've walked through crowded halls, heard the whispers behind me, but none of them ever knew the truth. Sometimes I smile to keep the world quiet, and sometimes I don't smile, just to see who can face me as I am. In CapCut AI dialogue scene model, only 12 seconds of voice are supported. So when I uploaded a 15-second clip, it asked me to separate 12 seconds. The lip sync, facial expressions, and face movements are good in all three tools. Hedra head movement looks natural and adds realism, while CapCut hand movement feels a bit too much. In dream face, the teeth look slightly unclear and blurry. What do you think about these examples? Which tool do you prefer? In Dreamface, there are several options for creating lip-syncing videos. One is Avatar Video, where you can upload an image or video, write your text, choose a voice, or even upload or record your own audio. Another option is Pet Lip Sync, which is great for making fun videos. You can upload your image or pick one from their samples, select one of their video samples, or use your own text and audio, just like the previous option. Everything's gonna be alright, everything's gonna be okay. I know that you've been sad, but tomorrow's a brand new day. There's also Dream Avatar 3 and Avatar 2. These models only support image input, for my examples, I used Avatar 3. It's available only on the paid plan and uses more credits. The newer Avatar 3 Fast lets you upload up to 180 seconds. Avatar 3 allows up to 30 seconds of audio, while Avatar 2 supports up to 120 seconds. In Dreamface Avatar 2, the output video resolution is limited, so even if you upload a larger image, the result will be generated at a resolution of 512 by 512. You can check the pricing plans for details. In CapCut, there are two main ways to use the AI Dialogue Scene Lip Sync model. First, Go to AI Media and select AI Dialog Scene. If you don't see it, update CapCut. It supports images only. You can write your text, choose a voice, or upload your own audio. It supports up to 12 seconds of audio, so if your file is longer, you need to pick a 12-second segment. On the free plan, you get 60 credits to test it with short audios. The second way is by importing your image to the timeline, selecting it, then going to Video, Basic, AI, Dialogue Scene. Choose the Talk or Sing option. CapCut detects all characters in the image, and you can choose which one to lip sync. You can also use your own text or upload audio, just like before. CapCut also offers older lip sync models called Standard and Vivid, which you can try. For longer videos, you can take a screenshot of the last frame, then use that image with the next part of your audio to continue the video. If you want to learn how to generate music with Eleven Labs, check out the tutorial on my channel. There's a 7-day free trial, and if you decide to upgrade, you can compare the different pricing plans for web, mobile, and desktop. To use Lip Sync in Hedra, go to the Video section and choose the Hedra Character 3 model. Hedra only supports image input. You can create image using AI, capture one with your webcam, or upload your image. For audio, you can write text and select a voice, record your own, or upload an audio file. With a paid plan, you can use audio up to 5 minutes long. There's also an option to add a text prompt for your character's emotions and gestures while speaking. It works sometimes, but not always. Before generating, you'll see how many credits are required based on your audio length. You can also check the pricing plans and see how many credits the Character 3 model uses per second of video. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, ask your questions, and add your experiences with these tools in the comments. Want to learn more about AI lip sync tools and learn how to make music videos? Watch these videos next!